Good morning everyone. It's Nicole from Relax Cut Glue. Welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I posted a harvest video for a new project I'm going to do where I'm going to do an alphabet glue book but on these small little pieces of cardstock that I cut out and put a little ring on. So each card is going to be a letter of the alphabet and I'm going to add pictures that start with that letter the letter itself and words that start with that letter. So today we're going to start with the letter B. I made these little envelope type things to put all images that start with those letters and so they can be nice and organized. And so I pulled out a bunch of my B stuff, letter B stuff, right here. And then here's my index card. So I kind of already started messing around a little bit on this page by putting um, some images down and I just need to glue those so I have a boat I mean technically I think this is called a gondola right but I'm just gonna do B for boat um, bonsai blueberries and beer and then I'll flip it over and do some images on the other side and then I can go back through with my finer details with smaller images and words and letters. So let's get started. All right, I'm just using an Elmer's glue stick for this. The washable kind. Smooth that down, get any air bubbles out of there that I can. All right, let's do the blueberries next. Please excuse the sound of one of my little critters over here to my right. Just making a bunch of noise right now. All right. Smooth it out. You know what? I need my. Hold on one sec. I need my little washcloth. I like to use a little baby washcloth. This one looks really dingy because I go over a lot of magazine images and black and white images so that ink sometimes kind of transfers onto here but yeah these baby washcloths I mean look how thin they're super thin and makes it really easy for really getting those images down there flat and making that glue really stick to the paper because that's what we want we don't want we don't want any lift off Houston, we have a problem. We have liftoff. Wow, well, so some people don't care whether their images are straight or perfect or whatnot. I'm not one of those people. I like everything to go down the way I want it to go down. Really perfect. I mean, maybe perfect's not the right word, but you know, I want it to look nice. I don't want it to lift up. All right. Okay. Now, just need to, uh, I glued it to the paper. Whoopsie. All right, so we're gonna flip it over, cut off any excess paper. This is actually my favorite part because it's so satisfying to cut off that paper. Okay, I'm gonna rip this. I can save that blueberry for later. Cut off the glue part for another alphabet project.
Okay, let's see. Oh, we have a little bit hanging over here. This is the stuff I'm talking about. Most people wouldn't care if there's like, you know, a millimeter of paper hanging over the edge, but it really bothers me. I hate it. Okay, so there, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh. There's one side. So we have the boat, the bonsai, the beer, and the blueberries. Let's flip a runes, flip it over. All right, so I have, so what I, what I like to do personally when I'm doing this is I like to put all my square images down first and then I can go back through with fussy cut images when I'm done because I feel like these give it a nice base. So I have bell, I have a bear, I have brick, I have banana, batteries, baskets. So let's see. Well, I kind of, I want to do bell. I think I'm for sure going to put her in here. And then I can cover this up with a word later. And then maybe, maybe some brick. I like to, you know, use un not unusual things, but things that you wouldn't normally, I don't know, things that you're like, oh yeah, start with a B. Battery. Basket. I don't like that this is like all brown. Do I have any more stuff in my B? What else do I have in here? Eh, I don't have anything else. I know I have like fussy cut images and stuff somewhere. I only brought out a few things. Okay, so I'm not liking, I think it's the brick that's bothering me. Basket, batteries. Hmm. Maybe I do bell and the bear. Batteries. And then I could put the book here. Okay, let's let's start here and then I mean, honestly, is it really this big of a deal? I don't... No, it's not. It's not that big of a deal. When I start overthinking it like that, that's when I decide to just, just do it. Just put it down. I'll make it look nice somehow, no matter what. I'll figure it out. Go to the edge. That's going to bother me. Oh, well. Let it go. Let it go. Now we'll add this cute little bear. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I do live in a city. I'm a city girl. But I live close to a gorge. And, you know, we used to have... There was quite a bit of land where I live for a while. You know, there's, you know, some farms and stuff around here. Even though I live in the city... Um, but the other day there was a black bear loose in my neighborhood. Like, I, okay, so we've lived here 16 years, 16 years in this house and never once has there been a black bear just in a residential neighborhood in the city <laughs> where I live. So people were freaking out. I mean, honestly, it's really sad because obviously been pushed out of wherever it came from and you know got stuck in the city and didn't know where it was going so that was kind of scary I was honestly you know we have a fenced yard and everything but I was a little nervous about having my dog go outside because it was literally in my neighborhood somewhere I think they eventually caught it I never you know I meant to check yesterday morning when I woke up to see if they caught it you know, obviously, I'm not that worried about it because I didn't even check. How weird! Like <laughs> to get these, 
you know, things on your phone that there's a black bear that they're trying to find in your neighborhood. I mean, how weird. That must have looked so weird just driving down the street, you know, a busy street, and like, whoa, there's a bear. It's not like we live in the country. We do have, we have had cougar sightings quite a bit um, where I live because there is still some forest and stuff around, but, and that's scary too. There was one quite a few years ago, but it was, you know, literally right down the street from my house somewhere. And all I could think of is every time I left my house, like, what if it's just like chilling on my front porch when I come out? Like, how scary would that be? It's so nuts. I mean, honestly, I love animals. So I would have thought it was really cool, but I don't want to, you know, die from it. Although I wouldn't be surprised if that's how I, I think there's a meme that goes around that talks about, like, you love animals and you died from getting too close to one. That would be me. Oh, she has a book right there. Oh, that's cool. I didn't, duh. You guys are probably screaming at me. So she has, obviously, she loves to read, but. Okay, I don't need any more books then, because I've got a book here, books here. I can do a butterfly. Where do I want to put the butterfly up? Oh, okay. Let's put... I want some color. What other words do I have? I have beautiful twice. Beer, baking, bathroom. Don't really think I need that. Okay. So I was kind of trying to like challenge myself by not putting a ton of stuff out here, but it's definitely challenging me. Challenging me, that's for sure. Let's see, blooms. I don't want to cover the batteries. Boulder. <laughs> All I can think of. Shrek. That's a nice boulder. We just watched that yesterday. Okay, so literally all of these words are going to... Well, okay, I'm going to put beautiful down. I'm going to commit. We're committed now. You and I. We have beautiful. We could put let's put big right there. Can't believe I didn't cut out one B, letter B. What is wrong with me? Okay, so there's big. I want to put bolder. I'll save Boulder for the other side. Let's go here. Put Boulder right there. So for me personally, I like to use these letters or words to break up the lines in between the images. So like here, I would put like a fussy cut Let me see if I have a fussy cut. I know I have butterflies in here. Where are you, butterflies? Oh, I have a bird. Oh, that's, that one's not even cut. Well, that doesn't help. These are all supposed to be fully fussy cut. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Where are all my butterflies? What in the world? Okay, there's a bird. Put that out there. Um, there's a butterfly, but it's huge. I don't want that one. I want one of my little ones. Ugh. Okay, let's see. Oh, 
Nope, there's one. Okay, there's a butterfly. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's a toucan. Technically still a bird. There's another butterfly. Okay. All right, moving on. Okay, so I think I'm going to put a butterfly here because that breaks up this little, what would you call that, intersection of papers. So I always try and break up that intersection. There we go. That looks lovely. And it adds some color. I do have a little bird. Although it's not a magazine image, so that kind of bothers me. I did have a bird that I cut out yesterday. I know I did. So where is it? Oh, there's another butterfly. Maybe I'll use it. Why is it when you're looking for something, there's a cardinal, that is technically a bird. Ugh. Driving me nuts. Oh wait, I know I have a banana in here too. Where's the bananas? It's like a big bunch of bananas. Oh, here's a cool bee. Oh my gosh. Love that. Okay, I look at these. These bananas are like in my face all the time. Oh wait, what if I put... It's a hot air balloon, but it's still a balloon, right? For a bee. Let's see. What was I looking for? Oh yeah, the bananas. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Seriously, that is so weird. I see them all the time. I'm like, they're always in my face and now I can't even find them. Wait, are they on the bottom one? No, okay. All right, okay, okay, moving on. Okay, there's that. Okay, so um, I already have a butterfly balloon. Believe I could put. Oh, here, beer. No. Oh, uh, eh. Okay, why did I do that? Uh, okay, so then the word best kind of blocks the blueberries that's all right you can still see what they are all right we'll cover up some of this beer a little bit because we don't need the frothy part okay so we have those let's flip it back to the other side Oh man, I wish I would have used this. That is killer. All right, I'll do another one. I'll use that on a different one. Oh yeah, I wanted to do this. No. No. Okay, save that for a different project. We have enough books. I had Betty Boop too, but these cards are so small. That's what's really throwing me off. Is I usually have more space, so it's kind of bothering me here. Maybe I will fussy cut a little bit. I'll do a rough fussy cut where I leave a little bit of a little bit of white. These are the best scissors I have found for fussy cutting ever. They have you can hear it when you cut. They have these little it's like serrated so it kind of holds on to the paper for you and it doesn't like just slide out of your hands. I don't know, with my other scissors, I found that when I'm fussy cutting, sometimes my scissors would like keep cutting the paper because it would, you know, they would just keep gliding and I didn't want it to cut there. Whereas this kind of holds on to the paper a little bit. And these are the Tim Holtz. Um, what does it say? Yeah. 
the Tim Holtz, and you can see they're like serrated. Anyways, highly recommend those. Um, I really don't like these bananas at all. That was a waste of time. Shovel, what is this doing here? Bye, Felicia. Oh, do I put a little bird here? It's like a where I'm from. They always say put a bird on it. Okay, you know what? I'm adding these books. I know there's a lot of books, but no, nope, I'm not adding those books. Am I adding another butterfly? What do I do? I need something right here. Do I like that? I don't like that. I need more words. Hmm. Let me get... find a B word. Something B. Yell at me if you see something. <gasps> That's so pretty. Be good for collage. All right, B, B, B. There's a K. That'll be perfect for the K. Oh, I haven't gone through this magazine yet. No wonder I'm like so enamored with everything I see. Um... Oh, what about like a bumblebee? How come I don't have one of those? What in the world? Looking for bee words. Blooms. And it has a yellow background. What's on the other side? Oh, but I like that box. Okay, I don't like that. Moving on. Um, let's see. Bee, 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 bee. put this little tiny baby in there. Oh, but I like those too. Ooh, pop art. Love pop art. Marilyn. Um, what? How to paint pop art portraits? Okay, I'm gonna have to do that. I'll come back and read that another time. Okay, give me a B. Look, there's like these letters everywhere, but of course not what I'm looking for. Um, oh my gosh, cutting out that dog for sure. Could put a boot, but that's kind of big. That's the other thing is I need these things to be small. Oh, I could put a bowl. Well, BRB, but you can't really see it very well. I feel like I've just passed like 10 and you guys are like, there's a bucket, but it's too big. Oh, there's a bee. Show me a bumblebee. Cute. Cute. Okay. Just bills. I don't want that word. But I'm definitely cutting out these elephants for my elephant book that I'm going to make. Oh, there's another bee. That one might be too big. That's cool. Cut that out too. Okay, well, this isn't working. I have 5,000 magazines. I picked the one that doesn't have B words in it. Um, there's an A right. Oh, there's a bird. Hmm. Might be able to use that. Ooh, skates. Oh, there's some good pictures in here for for my glue books. Hmm. 
I'm not even really seeing a lot of words that start with B. Are you kidding me? Oh, a bed. Here's a little bed. Okay. Thank you, but no thank you. You gave me hardly anything. Okay, so I did get a B. Okay, and then what else did I have? I had a little bed. I'm not exactly sure if that'll fit. I have a bird. Hmm. Let's just see. My husband is out in the front yard pulling weeds right now. Oh no, he's fertilizing. I was gonna say, we don't have any weeds. He likes to putz around out there in the yard. It's like his favorite thing to do. Okay, um, well the bird kind of hides her, does hide her hand right there. I could do that and then put something right here. Okay, but then there's like this whole area with this bear. So maybe I'll do well, that hides the bear, the bee, or ugh, bird's face. I don't like that at all. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? That hides her book. That hides her hand. I'm gonna go for it. My new motto is: if I think about it too long then I must somewhat like it, so I'm just gonna put it there. I just wanna cover the tips of her little phalanges. Okay, let's cut that off. Oh, so satisfying. Gross, okay, so we got that. Now, is this a word? No, that's garbage. What is this? Garbage, that's the letter A, we don't need that garbage. Okay, so I have the word believe, and will it fit? Oh, it fits perfect right here. Yep. Love it when a plan comes together. There we go. Get that in there. Cute. Okay. I do need something over by the bear. I've got a lot going on down here. Um, I hate butter. I don't even know why I have that. Like, I, I hate it, hate it so much. It is so disgusting. Let's put... Could put the word better up there. Let's do that. Oops, stuck to the A. Bring it to the edge. Okay, let's see if there's any hangover. No. I think I'm just gonna call it good. Oh shoot, where was my <laughs> where was my little hole? Wait, I think it was right over here. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Okay. So let's cut the hole, put the hole back in. 
hopefully in the same exact spot. Yep, I felt it. All right, so there's my B card. Blueberries, boat, butterfly, bonsai, beer, best, beer, boulder. Better, bear, big, book, batteries, believe, be, bell, book, beautiful bird. Ta-da! Okay, so now I'm going here. Remove the A. Put the B. And now I have one done in my alphabet glue book. And I have to say, despite the struggle, I am happy with it. Put a fork in it, baby. It is done. Hope you guys enjoy your holiday weekend. Thanks for crafting with me. Have a great day. Bye.